Hey, my name is Kevin and I'm the Helpful Hero, here to help you leverage the awesome power that is HubSpot. Now, in today's video, I wanna walk you through how easy it is to create web pages and or your website in multiple languages using HubSpot's built-in features. And that's exactly what we're gonna cover step-by-step step here. So let's go ahead and jump straight into HubSpot and uh, get this party started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come to the content settings, which is accessible at this little gear icon at the top, and then down to content, and then domains and URLs. From here, you can come into the language settings tab, and this is where we wanna set our primary language for any given domain which we have in the account. Now, this is my own HubSpot account, so I have a bunch of different domains, but what we wanna do, if we look at, say, the Clean Pro domain, the primary domain is set to English. Now, if we look at a few of our other domains, we can you know, see how we can select that here. It's very important that whatever your main language is, you set that as your primary domain. Now, I would highly encourage you, if you do have um, this set up, to not toggle on the abbreviation feature for your primary domain. Essentially what that's gonna do is on every single normal web page that you have, it's going to append the abbreviation of that language to all of your URLs. So in this case, if I were to toggle this on and someone went to clean.pro, it would automatically append dat or uh, forward slash en. That's not what we want on our primary domain, but it will automatically work for every other website or every other web page that we set up with a different language. So once we have this set up, what we can do is we can simply move on to the website pages section where we can go through any of our pages and create a variety of languages. We're just gonna do one in this tutorial video and you'll get a real sense of how this works. So once we have um, a page, all we need to do is come down under more options, and then we can create a multi-language variation. So if we click this, we can go ahead and set the language that we want to go ahead and translate it to. So in this case, let's just do French. Now, of course, as you select different languages, you're going to be met with um, varieties of you know, options for those languages, French Canadian, French Monaco, and so on and so forth. So it's really up to you um, in the way in which you want to set that up. In my case, I'm just typically going to select French. Now, there is a very handy feature that HubSpot has introduced, um, which is the Breeze AI translation. I've experimented with this and it works mostly it'll at least give you a nice head start and automatically um, translate your pages. So let's go ahead and just turn this bad boy on and then click create and translate and let it do its magic. Now the page that I'm translating is just one of my example templates called the about us template with some placeholder um, copy in there that's all in English. But now as you can see, it did its magic. It replaced everything up here with French, everything in here with French. It got this one and it even came down and took care of everything else here um, in French. It did an amazing job. It's literally that easy. It's magical. I love AI. I'm a big geek. This is amazing. Um, now, as you can see, it has not done the global header or the global footer and or the global header, which we're gonna talk about in just a minute. Now, since we have our French version, we can use this little toggle um, right up here to switch back and forth between these two variations. Now, as you can see, here's our English version and we have our French version. So let's go ahead and go back into the French version. And this is where we can go ahead and address the global header and global footer. In this example, we're just gonna go ahead and address the global header as the same thing is going to pertain to the global footer. So all we're gonna do is come over to the contents tab, open up the global header option. And we gotta do that one more time. And then essentially, if we go under navigation elements, 
you'll see that I've already actually set up an advanced menu for the English version. So the one thing that we want to do is first, since we don't have a language selected, we do want to add a multi-language um, variation. And so in this case, our primary language is set to English as we were. And then we're gonna add a, a language variation of French. Boom. And click Save. So right now we're looking at the English version, but what we wanna do is we actually wanna look at the French version. So as we move over to French, it's gonna open up the global header. You can disregard that it doesn't look like anything. It's totally fine. And if we go into the global header, we are now on the French version. And what we can do is any changes that we make in here are going to pertain specifically to that French version. So you would want to say update maybe the search place, placeholder um, with the search ver or whatever the translation for search is. Um, and more importantly, go into the various navigation elements where you can do the same thing. Now, the global header in Clean Pro utilizes the advanced menu feature um, within HubSpot. So what we would wanna do in this case, since there is an English version here, is we would want to essentially create a new version by clicking Create New. We'll call this uh, Translation Demo French. Create that. And now we can create a brand new menu. Another option that you could um, go through is simply cloning your existing primary language version um, to make things a little bit easier. Since in our example, we have a relatively simple navigation that's simply product, services, contact. What we can do here is we can just go ahead and recreate that. Now I'm using ChatGPT to do a little bit of my translation for the French version of product, which is produit. I don't know how to say that in French. I apologize to all of you who are French or know French and are watching this. And for right now, I'm just choosing item without link because I don't have a page to link it to, um, but you would of course wanna make sure that these are linked to the appropriate pages. And then let's just add um, one more without link. Um, services is actually services um, in French. And contact, yet again, I'm kind of cheating here. I'm lucky because it's simply um, contact in French, but maybe with a French dialect. So now that we have that, um, it's actually gone ahead and um, returned. So if we go back to our global header, now you can see that we have the French version right here and I can apply these changes. Now, one good measure that I always like to make sure when I'm dealing with um, global elements like the global header is to come back over here to this toggle and click English as the primary and back over here under navigation elements. And we just, we're just making sure, right? We got our English version set right there. So we know there's a difference between the two. Um, now we can go back to, actually, let's just go back to French and come into the French version. And one thing that we need to make sure that we do, we got our French version, is publish that um, so that that version is live. Now what we have is we can see right up here, we have the French version of our global header. So that when we switch between the English version, there's our English version header and our English version content. And we're basically ready to go in terms of publishing this so that there is going to be multiple versions available. Now there's one last thing that I wanna walk you through, um, albeit we're gonna go ahead and just pretend that we went through the same process with the footer, um, but that is going through and actually publishing each of these pages. So if I publish this version right here, great, that version is now published. And then I will come over to the French version because we'll want to publish these separately. And we'll publish this version and let that do its thing. And now we notice right up here that the um, 
the FR, the abbreviation for French, has been automatically appended to the URL. Now let's go ahead and exit out of here. And as you can see right here within the HubSpot um, page editor, we can toggle this down and we can see all of the different pages that we have translated for um, any specific page um, that we're building. That's a great way just to be able to access this. Now, if we just jump over and we wanna view this page right here, what you're gonna see is this handy little um, uh, button icon um, that allows you or a visitor to your website to switch between the two variations of the pages. So if they are um, French, they can easily just hop over there and or back to English. This little icon is only going to appear on pages that have translated pages available. So if not all of your website pages are currently uh, utilizing this multi-language feature, you may not see that icon. And honestly, that is how simple it is to make sure that all of your translated pages are set up successfully. If you have any questions about this whole entire process, always feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to help. I appreciate you utilizing Clean Pro for your website and I'll catch you in the next video tutorial. See ya.